Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this using vectors problem, it's the same as the last one where we use the graphical methods that they talk about in the book to both add these two vectors, a and b, and then we're going to use subtraction for a and b on the vectors. For part a for the addition, we're going to go a plus b, so a goes first. So a is like that. You simply just draw the first one. Then you take B and we move it so that the tail is at the end of the tip of A, and then we just draw it. So here's B. And now we connect the tail of the first one to the tip of the end. So the resultant vector C, kind of a crooked line, but you get the idea that this is the resultant vector C for A plus B. Now when we do subtraction, it's a very similar process except you just invert or flip the second vector, so in this case B. So again, just draw the first one, just draw A. So there's A. And now when we draw B, we're going to flip it backwards. So they'll be tip to tip essentially. But whenever we draw the vectors, it's always tip to tail. So we need to take B and we need to move it or slide it up so that the tail is here and the tip is going to be up this way. So when we do that, we have A coming like this, just the exact same. You basically leave A alone. And now B, because it's inverted, is going to come up like this. So now the resultant vector from the tail of the first one to the tip of the second one will be like that. And we'll call it C again.